Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 2 of Flower. Uh, in the last part we just got done with the yellow level, which yes I'm going to be referring to these levels as the color of the flower that we're in. So here we're on the red level now and with the red flower and we're going to get started. And this is kind of more or less a repeat of the first level, but it's not, it's, it's different enough to differentiate itself. I mean, by this point most of the people who played the game have only seen up to this point in the game, so there's that we got for us, and here we have more depressing scenery of the urbanization of the world, and uh, here we have pro quite po possibly one of the coolest like effects in the entire game is the contrast of the red with the gray, and I think I talked about this in the Euphoria episode, but there's a, you know, the book The Giver I was talking about earlier, it's kind of a spoiler, but basically all the characters, they aren't allowed to like feel, and they can't see color, they can't perceive it, so, um, basically, when they're making the movie, I really hope they do the effect like they did here because, you know, I was reading on forums that people were thinking that, you know, Hollywood would be dumb enough to make the movie in black and white until, spoilers, the main character, Jonah, until he is able to actually see colors after getting the memories from the giver. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a spoiler because eventually he does begin to see color, but he notices it in the form of his, I guess, one of his childhood friends, Fiona's hair she's a redhead lol but also of like an apple and stuff and it's really interesting how they introduce the concept of color through text and it's cool because it's not until then that you know they weren't able to see color but then again black and white is not the same as not seeing color because i don't know it's like people who are colorblind i read it's not like seeing in black and white it's just lack of color and it's not it's like this like this like grass here it's not black or white it's like they're just different shades I guess I don't know how to explain it but because it's been a while since I read the book and like I said it's really interesting so I really hope they do the movie with kind of drowned out colors more so than black and white but I'm sure they're gonna find something good to do with it because I just saw a couple of stills from the perks of the being a wallflower movie and I'm not sure how I feel about that yet because Emma Watson is in it but so is Nina Dubrov and she's actually kind of a cutie patootie <laughs> but yeah she is kind of nice looking but I'm not sure how they're gonna do it because I really like the book if you guys haven't read it I highly suggest you do it's kind of depressing but it's really good too so perks of being a wallflower and I just hope it's not Hollywood mainstream because that would be kind of a shame but as you can tell here we're just planting all these I'm, I'm not even talking about the game anymore god this level is just so beautiful I love bringing color to this area um, I didn't really make much note of it alright so here we've got a new path but Every level is divided into three parts, and in each part, there's going to be a secret bouquet of flowers they're going to have to get in. In the earlier levels, it was easy to kind of differentiate, you know, there are three distinct areas to the first for every level, except for, I think, the fourth one, and we'll get into that later because it is very short, but um, here we are in the first level, and once we pass that canyon, it's going to be the second area, so I'm not going to be <laughs> telling you guys this all the time, but anyway, now that we're running through here uh, we're gonna re-pick up these flowers that we forgot it's good to complete a level mostly because like I said there's a trophy where you need to bloom 10 billion 10 billion 10,000 flowers and there we go the last bouquet and once you collect all these red bouquets if, all right yes we got color all right yes there's light and there's our secret bouquet all right very nice we are so good at this game you guys and god Oh, and speaking of which, um, I accidentally made a mistake in the last episode. I, I mistakenly referred to Cloud as being the, uh, or Flower to being the second game by that game developer. But once we come through here, we're BAM! Oh yes, you guys, guess what? We can just, you know, give a big middle finger to the earth. You know, screw plate tectonics. We do whatever the hell we want. And we're going to go through here to the second area. So now, and there's a secret book in each area. I already said that, but... Yeah, I said that uh, Flower was the second game, and it is. It is their second game on the PlayStation Network, which is what I failed to convey accurately. Um, Flow is their first one. I actually do have that game on PSN. Like, I have bought it, and I played it quite a few years ago, and it's a little boring. It's kind of like this, but the controls are less intuitive, and it's interesting. We might get into it later because it's it's also fairly short, and it's, and it's short. Each level is short enough that we'll be able to kind of go through it without having to stop in the middle of a level so we might get into that I'm not sure yet just maybe before we do journey because I hopefully will be able to do that so here we're collecting all these and the, as you can tell the grass is now purple so yes there we go all right yeah more more screwing with the play tectonics we don't care about mother nature this is an obvious testament to how little we actually care so 
Where we've got yellow flowers, and now we have a path of yellow flowers to follow now. Oh man, this is this is this is getting tiresome, you guys. However, we're gonna do all this, but um, yeah, now they're just making it way too easy for us. But oh, excuse me. So today is, I do think, I don't even know what today is. It's like the middle of the night. I can't see my computer right now, but oh, gotta get all those. Alright, so, god, I just love the sound these make. I, I haven't mentioned this yet, but this game reminds me a lot of the Undergarden. You guys will see later, like, more or less why. Because not only the fact that we're blooming flowers, you know, how we did that pretty much the entire game. And we had bomb rocks and magicians, but, um, just other things. I kind of wish sometimes that I could redo the Let's Play. I kind of, to a certain extent, wish I could redo most of them. Just, like, playing through them I would just and rewatching them, I kind of think of stuff I could have improved upon. And I think that's good to critically think. Now we have a second area we can go to right over there, as you saw, but we're going to finish this one off first. And so, yeah, I just I feel like I sounded bored, and it's so weird to think that, you know, both Ilo Milo and the Undergarden have linked my Let's Plays on their Facebooks, apparently, but... It's just really kind of weird to think that people have been watching and using those as a viable means of, like, a walkthrough. And it's not really a walkthrough. It's more just, like, enjoying the game and completing it to its fullest and kind of appreciating the artwork. Because this is definitely, this game, I think, Flower was the first game to be actually inducted and did, like, I, what, I, I can't even remember what it's called. But it's where they uh, uh, kind of show off, you know, priceless parts pieces of art or something and this was the first one for the video game division or something like that it's uh, I'll have like a more detailed description somewhere I guess somewhere but now we're gonna go back and get whatever we missed which is actually the bouquet because this is the second area in that area over there led us to the third one so yes let's go fly over here and we're gonna collect this bouquet and more bouquets more 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 and God, and if you think this entire game is just like this, don't be fooled. Just keep watching. You guys are going to be in for a treat. So here's the bouquet that we picked up. And with that, yes, we have done it. We are victorious. Or hero. And with that, oh, man. See, look at this. The colors are just, ugh, they're so vibrant and, like, cool. And just flying is just so, like, amazing. Like, it's going to sound really cliched, but when I was a kid... Uh, when you were asked, you know, what super, what superhero power would you have? Mine was always flying. I, I didn't care much about anything else except for flying. Flying was obviously the best for me, but... Um, Alright, so I think we've got most of them here, so I guess we can continue on to this last area. And go through this valley of the canon of the shadow of death. Without the death, without the valley, without the shadows, and without the religion. So... We're going to just keep on going. This area is probably one of the coolest ones, too. We can get an achievement here pretty easily. I'm not sure where else in the game we can get this. But, um, so you can tell, our first introduction with blue flowers. And these are actually one of the coolest looking flowers in the entire game. But, um, here we've got all these. So we're going to keep grabbing those. And once you've collected all the bouquets in this circular area of destruction to the Earth's natural rock formation. Yes, we're screwing with the geography of the, <laughs> the entire map. We're now blue, as you could have seen there. We're a blue orb. We're a, what are those things called? Wisps or whatever, willy wisps, or I don't know, but yes, they're totally ripping off Mario here. But now, once you've picked that up, we're actually, we can actually paint the ground, you know, like blue, which is really cool wherever we go, as long as we're touching the ground, of course. But um, as you could have guessed, we have to do this for some more other areas. So let's go get these yellow ones over here. And we're gonna do it again pretty much and but instead of being blue we're gonna be yellow so you can kind of I'm sure there are probably videos detailing like different like paintings people have done in this game because like in game because of all the colors you can change in this specific area and there's actually a trophy for that so there's pink also so all right we're not yellow right now but we'll get it. We'll get it later. We just want to. We just want to get this over with. These levels are going to be really short, except for the finale. I'm pretty sure the finale is going to be two-parter, much, you know, to the disdain of some of the people who, you know, still. Do I missed much to the disdain of the people who, you know, they have their heart broken by the cliffhanging conclusion of the first part, and they're like, what's going to happen in the second one? But it's awesome. So with that, with the third and final changing of the rocks. The center one will be... Oh, looks like we have to go through quite a bit of cracked areas to get through that. So, now that that's done, 
<clears throat> oh man, I just wanna, oh yeah, we still have to get the bouquet though, so it's right over here, it's really not hard to miss at all, so uh, it's just right here, basically where we started, but if you just turned around, there'd be, so there we go, there's the third one, very nice, so now like I was saying, once you go through the grass over here, oh I missed, we're gonna get the pink one now, what we have to do is have three of the same colors, uh, so when you hear that, that's what we'll be able to do it, and it's pretty cool because, as you can tell, we're painting the ground, and it's just so cool, like, that effect is really awesome, and we'll be able to do all this, and the plot isn't made exactly clear yet, but this is going to be important for us later, um, there is actually a plot in this game, believe it or not, it's, it's, you know, so here's blue again, so we're going to go paint stuff with that, I think we just need the pink one, oh, never mind, there we go, palette, or palette, I don't know how you would pronounce it. I think just palette is the right way. So just coloring the ground and stuff. It's just such joy. So let's just get out of here, shall we? <laughs> it's such joy. Let's just get out of here. Because that's always the right idea. Just get out of here when we're having fun. We don't want to have too much fun. We don't want to burn out the fun. Because if that was the case, then, uh-oh. It's more flower suicide. But we're into this red flower now. And if you'll notice... The areas where we start in the game are going to be the areas of the area where we're just at. Except for the last one, we kind of didn't really quite make it. Double rainbow all the way. Oh man, except there's not. There's only one sad face. Ah, how dare they. I think this was before double rainbow, you know, phenomena. But, well, that's pretty much the end of the second level. Sorry, I kind of trailed off a lot there in that part. Wow. So, there... So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next time we're going to get into the third level, which is pretty cool. It's kind of really awesome, if I do say so myself. All of these levels are incredibly awesome. And uh, there we go, the yellow plant. The, ye or the yellow plant, the pink plant. So next time on Flower, we're going to get started with this beautiful, beautiful unbloomed flower. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'll talk to you guys next time on Flower.